Hello, my name is Mr. James and welcome to this rapid revision session. As you can see today, the topic we're going to study is the work of John Snow. And we're going to look at three main things. The condition of 19th century towns, Snow's methods and discoveries, and the significance of Snow's work. The first thing we need to talk about is the condition of 19th century towns. And here's our key points. From 1700, towns grew very fast in Britain, largely due to rapid industrialization. So housing was needed for people who were moving to towns to work in new factories. This was built therefore very quickly and very cheaply. These housing blocks, often called courts, were therefore often damp and they lacked good ventilation. And they also became very overcrowded with whole families living, eating and sleeping in the same room. There was no sewer systems attached to these housing courts and so outdoor toilets called privies were used and these were shared by multiple families and the waste was collected in cesspits. That meant that waste from these privies and from industrial factories often flowed into rivers and so they were foul smelling and highly polluted. Lastly, people had very few taps in their homes. That was a rarity. And so most collected their water from standpipes or pumps that they shared. It was these poor conditions that in part explains why cholera became such a prevalent disease in the 19th century. Cholera epidemics were regular occurrences in British towns in the first half of the 19th century. The disease caused diarrhea and vomiting that left the victim extremely dehydrated. This would result in their skin feeling very dry and their eyes would sink back into their skull resembling a skeleton. Other symptoms included a squeaky voice as their vocal cords were damaged, the thickening of the blood and ruptured blood vessels that turned the skin blue. This therefore is why it was known often as the blue death. It was usually fatal and it could kill its victims anywhere between two and six days after falling sick. This is where John Snow's work then becomes important. And our key point here is that John Snow demonstrated that cholera was spread in water that had been contaminated by sewage. Before John Snow, the first major cholera epidemic, which occurred in 1831 to 32, killed over 21,000 people. Another cholera epidemic in 1848 forced Parliament to pass the first Public Health Act, but as this was only voluntary, very few councils improved their water supplies. Most people, therefore, before Jon Snow, including scientists, believed that cholera was spread by miasma in the air. And so there was no motivation to clean up water supplies as that wasn't considered the cause. What did John Snow do therefore? Well, in 1848, he published his book on the mode of communication of cholera. And this theorized that water, not miasma, caused the disease. In August 1854, he proved this theory to be correct when an outbreak of cholera started in Soho, near to where he worked. Snow was able to map out the deaths in the local area, putting dots on a map, noting how many people had died in each houses. He spotted a pattern that deaths centered on the Broad Street water pump in the middle of Soho. He was able to have the pump handle removed and so as people weren't using the contaminated water, the epidemic stopped. Later, it was discovered that the well was found to be contaminated from a nearby So what's the significance of Jon Snow's work? Well, he saved local people's lives by stopping the epidemic in Soho. And he was also able to present his findings to Parliament a year later in 1855. Eventually, the British government agrees to build a new sewer system in London, but you'll notice this is 20 years later. That's because there are several limitations to his work. Firstly, 
Outside of Soho, it had little impact. Water supplies remained contaminated, and there was even another epidemic of cholera in 1865-66. to 66. Crucially, Snow had no scientific evidence to show what caused the disease. What was in the water causing cholera? Well, it would take another 30 years to discover that microbe, and that was the work of Robert Koch. The new sewer system was actually agreed to due to the great stink of 1858, rather than Snow's work on cholera. No immediate action was taken after his presentation. And lastly, many people just rejected Snow's findings. Even the General Board of Health continued to support the miasma theory. So that's the end of our rapid revision on John Snow. You can either take a test, consolidate this content, or you can apply this content, or you can do all three.